the Sony Alpha 9 Mark III, a revolution in the camera with a 120 frames per second and the global shutter. This camera, which is meant mainly for wildlife photography and sports photography, I have it in my hand here. Let's go ahead, unbox this and see like what we have inside. I'm so eager to look at the new camera. So let's jump in, open it and let's explore. Let's see what we have inside the box. Yeah, so the cable protector. And yes, the most important thing, the warranty card. So the Sony Alpha 9 Mark III comes with a three year warranty. So better to go and register your camera. Manuals. So, and of course they even mentioned the recommended card reader uh, for the cards what we use. We have the power cord for the charger and yes, where are you? Yeah, there you go. So the Alpha 93, the strap we have here and of course the battery charger, the BCOZ1. So let's keep this to the side. Let's remove all the other things first. And of course, we have the battery. So one of the amazing things about the Sony cameras is it's the same model of the battery, the NPFZ100, which goes into all the Sony Alpha cameras. Over there. And here's the camera. There you go. Let's open it. And here it is, the Sony Alpha 9 Mark III with the global shutter and the 120 frames per second. So let's see what specifications this camera has and let's see like what are the key features of the camera and for me, which is wildlife photography, how exactly this camera helps me for my wildlife photography. So let's go ahead and explore that now. To start with, this is a 24.6 megapixel image sensor, quite decent for a full frame camera. Apart from that, it comes with a global shutter, which is a revolutionary technology. The first camera to have the global shutter, which is very useful, where you get even shutter speed of like 1 by 80 thousandth of a second. And apart from that, the flash sync speed, you don't have to worry about it. You can use whatever shutter speed you want. Now, apart from that, the other amazing feature is obviously the 120 frames per second for the action photography to capture those small movements which you will miss with other cameras. And the high shutter speed, you can go up to 1 by 80 thousandth of a second. So it could be like birds in flight, uh, it could be on sunbirds, any of the birds flapping the wings. You want to freeze that action, 1 by 80 thousandth of a second is the shutter speed what we can use with this camera. The autofocus and tracking, especially the subject recognition, this has a wide array of subjects what it can recognize, right? From people, animal, birds, insects, car, aeroplane. I mean, they have introduced a lot of all these various subjects what you can recognize with the AI. And uh, one of the other key features which I'm planning, which I'm waiting to explore is the pre-capture. So this camera supports pre-capture of up to like one second at 120 frames per second, which means you missed a shot which used to happen in the past. That is again history. So you can go back into future for one second and capture what you missed out, which means all kind of action photography where the bird is sitting, it just takes off kingfishers in flight. So those things you can just keep ready. And even after the action has happened, keeping the autofocus button pressed, action completes and then you click after one second, still you will be able to capture the action. So that is something which I'm waiting to test. And especially when we shoot at 120 frames per second with the number of images what you're going to capture for you to play back and review. So the camera has a new grouping system. So where when you do a playback, you can group all those continuous shots into one single display 
and then you can play back and check those images. So these are some of the key features which I am planning to explore as a part of my wildlife photography using the Sony Alpha 9 Mark III.